Hello, everybody. Last time I was looking at the wrong end of the phone, so I looked at those. Look at them beside the phone. Oh, just look at just look at the faces. Now just look at your face or my face, and then that should be fine. See, when I look here, it doesn't look like I'm looking that way. Uh huh. If I look there. That's where the camera is. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's very true. Yes. Hi, everybody. Jason and Rebecca here, Mama's Treasures. We are in a hotel room tonight. We uh, went and picked up those salt and pepper shakers that uh, we were telling you about last night in our auction haul video. We've got them all displayed here to show you. They're going to be up for grabs probably tomorrow in our live sale. But we did some thrifting um, on our way to the hotel tonight. We are in the next province over. We're in, we are in Alberta. Um, so we wanted to show you what we picked up today. All of the items, I think, are for resale? Yep, I think so. Um, there may be an item or two that we pluck out of there, but there is uh, almost 200 salt and pepper shakers and other items that we picked up. Yes. Uh, we'll just go through them, I guess. Yeah, well, we'll pan over the salt and peppers because we did, we were so okay. curious. We had to look at them. We found there was, to our disappointment, there was some that we really like and are, are chipped but yeah and there was one set like completely missing Holt Howard Rooster. Holt Howard Rooster is supposed to be in the set and that's yeah. gone so, and it didn't dawn on us until till now yeah so, so that was that was disappointing yep that's a good chunk of the money um to, <laughs> so, whatever yeah but we it is what it is and we will carry on there's still some very cool sets that we yes. have not had there's sets that we do have uh we even have some snakes we have some <laughs> with diamond eyes we have um lots of anthropomorphic buffalo that we didn't vegetables. have moose um, oh the derpy moose are so cute oh they're so cute some of them we've sold already but uh well why don't we just start do you want to scan you i'm holding the camera because it's i have longer arms okay <laughs> but well can... we will we'll turn the camera around and then we will get into our haul video okay this is sorry about the lighting um but this is one of the collections that we purchased if i do this does it help oh yeah i think it did yeah that does help uh so there are some really good ones in here particularly these little cutie patooties um, so some of these are worth more than like, say this set, like, uh, like the anthropomorphic. So we're not sure if we should be putting them on eBay. I've never seen these. Look at snooty and weary. They're separate. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're separate. Yeah. Things. Very neat. Very detailed. Um, so we've looked them up on eBay. We're not sure if we should be listing them there or, um, like these ones, these are PY, Japan. These deer are in impeccable condition. So you, if you are interested, some of these will be more um, dollar value than some others. Um, but uh, definitely you can reach out to us. Look at the spoons. And uh, we can give you a price. So um, yeah, well, like we're going to, so this is one lot. We're just going to have to kind of play it by ear. Yeah, there's lots of anthro in here. Well, well, most in the Look at these. A ref, a ref and baseball player. There are some repairs to those. Oh, these are the birdie ones. Yeah, the bird ones. Very cute. And then I'm just going to um, turn around and show you the other collection. So this is uh, another collection that we got. And there are some in here like these. These particular Mounties we've not had before. These um, ones we have doubles of, right? Yes. Oh. We got these kitties in both of the collections that we picked up. So one of them will be for sale. The other will be for me. Uh, this kitty in the violin is going to stay with me forever. Uh, <laughs> look at these cute little gem-eyed eggheads. There are the gem-eyed snakes. I love these birds. These birds are in perfect condition. Um, we've got some ice cream cones. See, yeah, these long dogs, I know they go for more money as well. 
Uh, Look at oh, these. these are... Ooh, I've never seen little spring elves. And those are black glass. Um, oh, here are the derpy, are the, bunnies. the derpy moose I was telling you about. I'm so in love with them. And the cute little buffaloes. Have you shown uh, the snakes? Yes, I did show the snakes. And these bunny rabbits. He looks like he's wearing lipstick. <laughs> these are bride and groom. Very cute. Uh, I don't think we've ever had the whales before. They're the tiki's. These are cool as well. Um, yes, so there is just a sneaky peeky of some of the sets that will be available in this tomorrow's kind of live cool, sale. Huh? Yeah, this is a three-piece set here. Um, and we will get into the other products that we bought while we were thrifting our way to Calgary. So first of all, we've got these awesome, uh, they're vodka shot glasses. Um, we've got four of them. They are shaped like fish. So we've got the four. And also in that baggie were these salt and pepper shakers. These are penguins and they have some gold on them in really great condition. Uh, we found, Jason found this. This is a newer piece, this elf, like candy dish. Sweet little elf on there. Um, it is 180 degrees. So it's a newer piece, but the sweet little elf, that'll be very fun for Christmas. And I found a Mexican pottery cat, and it's actually signed Cat. The, the artist's name is Cat, Mexico 337. It's one of those like glossy cats, and it's in great condition. So if you're interested in any of these items, they will be for sale. You can just get a hold of us with the email in the description. There are a few prints in here. Um, so if you are interested in these, they are six by eight and there is a few of them in each package. So I can sell a few of them. So there's this one here. It's, um, it's dated 1972. This one is dated 1978. And then there's these two cuties. These would be really cute as a pair in a nursery. These ones are dated 1980. So yeah, there's a few of those available. And then I found a whole bunch of vintage greeting cards. So I'm, I'm gonna really quickly just kind of go through them because these will be up for sale tomorrow or um, at video, uh, during the video, if you, if you're interested. So these ones I have doubles of. They are amazing. All of these cards are new old stock and these tall ones are dated pert and pretty. I looked them up and they, they're going for a pretty good, pretty good dollar amount. So there's, this one is my favorite with the little puppy peeking out of the door. It's a please get well soon card and look how sweet. So there is two of those. I think I'm gonna sell them in sets of four, um, but I have two sets, identical sets. So each one of these, there are two of. Um, I think, yes, then it repeats for those. Um, just some really nice vintage cards. And again, new unused, and most of them have their envelopes but um, there's just some little thank you for your baby gift. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in those, um, give me a shout. This is an Easter card. Pretty. This was quite unique. Uh, it's some sort of a plastic. It's quite a large flower. Um, some flexible plastic in the stain in there in the center. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what kind of plastic this is. Don't know if it's lucite of some sort or, or what it might be. 
um, but it does look like an early plastic to me. I found a couple of purses today. This one was really nice. It's got that beautiful purling on it and the closure is uh, works very nicely on it still. Uh, this one is, it's called J&R Made in USA. And then there's a zipper portion in the center. And the other purse I think is down in here somewhere. I'll get to it yet. And I found some vintage ribbons. So this one has two of the Ofre. Um, this one is um, the flower kind of uh, ribbon to put in floral arrangements because it says it's water, water repellent. This is a Christmas one. That one's awesome. And I think this one's kind of Christmassy as well. But yeah, uh, vintage, new, old stock ribbons. And I did get some more ribbon. This one is um, Baby, there's two of those. Um, another Christmas roll, and then there's this one as well. New old stock. Um, this is um, a stamp and die combo by Lawn Fawn. Um, these are really expensive when you find them together, especially when you have the matching dies, so. That was a good find. I just got a bag of random beads here. Great for crafting or jewelry making. And they're, they're quite weighty, so they, they feel like good quality to me. Um, I'm not gonna take the time to go through them today, but uh, there is a whole bunch of different metal and look like ceramic or glass beads in there as well. This one looks like a new strand. These metal dies. Okay, so if I'm seeing right, there are two of this ship in a bottle die that you can cut paper out of. Um, so there's two of those in there. And then this bigger one back here looks to me like it will cut out a gift box. So. I think if you cut out two of these, you can fold them together to make a gift box with the birds on it. So those are cool. Oh yeah, here's the other purse. This one is vintage as well. Look at the oxidization on the handle there, the seed beads, really pretty. It has a snap for its closure and it's got a satin satin inside and um, beautiful beading on both sides of it. What is this? Oh, um, I think that needs a top, doesn't it? Yes, right here. Oh yeah, this is that cool wicker chicken you found. Oh, that's cute, honey. Uh, he's cute, he's a basket. Very cool, he's got wooden feet. His eyes. What is in this baggie here? She has it all wrapped up so nicely. Um, oh yes, these cute little forks. Okay, so what's the design on these? There's three different colors, but I think there's only one black, right? I think there was, yeah. Okay, yes. Um, so there's a few of them there. So there's those. Cute. I found some brooches. Uh, this one is a cat with a, playing with a, with a ball. That's uh, obviously a pearl, faux pearl. This one was just really pretty to me, I thought. I would snag that one. And this is a ring. I thought that one was beautiful. It's adjustable and it is stamped Pilgrim. So I haven't looked that up. I don't know what that is. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's a really nice metal ring. It looks like enameling on it. Um, oh, these are fantastic. These are three trees, three different sizes. The biggest one is the red one. And they're made with acrylic beads. The red one has a star topper. And the blue one is the next biggest. And it looks like it's a little bit um, twisted there. <laughs> I just have to straighten it out. And then there is a green one. So cool. There's a lot of weight to these trees. Like there's, I wonder how many beads were put together to make these this trio of trees. So that is, that's a beautiful set. Oh, this was like the morning already. I'm excited to see all these things again. Um, all right, so I found some awesome old crochet and crafting books. There's this one. Um, I'm running out of room here. <laughs> Crafty Christmas Volume 3. Beehive Toys and Novelties, Crochet for Christmas, Softies of the Season, The Great Pom Pom Book, look at the tree. This one, Kitchen Witch Fair. Oh, I, I got two of these. There was, I guess there was two. Okay, and then this one, Mother's Day or Hostess, 50 Instant Gifts. Awesome. And then this little one, uh, 100 Embroidery Stitches. Um, this seam binding, I always pick this stuff up, especially the soft stuff. Uh, it crinkles and looks so pretty on all kinds of projects. There's quite a bit left on this roll here. More crafting stuff. Look at this cutie patootie Santa with his long Santa hat. He's kind of, his body is kind of squishy. He's called the Santa Air Freshener Doll. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. He's got a cute face. These, oh honey, they're Jason placemats. Six round Jason placemats in the box. And they are a lily pad design and they have a cork backing. Really nice. They're like um, kind of a laminate, almost a feel to them, but they're all in there in their box. Oh yeah, I forgot I bought these. These are acrylic red birds. Um, there is some good weight to these red birds. Um, they would be great for crafting projects. So there's a few of them in there. It looks like someone maybe tried making, oh, this one's got a chain in it. Um, that you could use them for like, um, fan poles. Um, this one looks like a smaller one too. Very cute. So I think there's four or five in there. Red acrylic birds. And then there's stuff wrapped in newspaper. What did we buy, honey? Oh, yes. Salt and pepper, <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers. Uh, this is a single of an Otagiri set that I actually collect. Um, there is there is a papa that goes with, with her. Um, but this is just the 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 grandma but she's got her uh, rolling pin this is a pair of salt and peppers the puppies i'm salt i'm pepper very cute maybe i'll put them up here hey with our other salt and peppers yep and go on there. Oh, <laughs> this is what the little forks were in. <laughs> she wrapped it up. We found another glass 
uh, stopper. So there's that one, really nice. Looks like there's a little bit of a boo-boo here. Is that a boo-boo or just a rough? Uh, it might have fallen and chipped a little bit there. Okay. Still very functional. Oh yes, this puppy. You saved him for me to find. Very cute. Um, What's the name on here? I think it might be upside down. Oh, it says hand painted. He's cute. He's very well done. Go sit there with your kitty friend. Oh yeah, this is cool. You know, we got our, um, this bird. We have like this salt and pepper mm -hmm. that would match this very nicely. Mm -hmm. Same colors? Yes. Um, and then there's a salt cellar as well. So this is like a planter, I guess. Probably. Um, it, this is in great condition. Made in Japan. A little froggy on there. That's It's really nice. I like that. Almost done here. Oh, these are cool too. Salt and peppers, right? Yeah, yep. salt and peppers. Um, very different. I like them. Oh yes, we got two of these. Um, so there's, uh, they, they've got that really nice orange and brown drip glaze on them. So there's two exactly the same little pictures like this. Actually, they're not very little. They're like eight inches, I would say. But this is the second one that I'm pulling out here. Really nice. So that is it for today's finds. Tomorrow, we are going to um, do some more thrifting in uh, the city where we're in. And we're going to come back to the hotel and hop on the internet to do our live sales. So hopefully, hopefully the internet's going to Yes, work. hopefully that'll, um, that'll go well. We don't have a plug-in internet. Uh, yeah, it's not hardwired, so we're going to have to rely on the Wi-Fi. Um, so hopefully that will work out. So I hope you join us for that. It's going to be at 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Uh, what's the date tomorrow? Saturday the... Saturday the 12th. Saturday the 12th at 5 p.m. Eastern. And if you are interested in any of the items that we showed you here tonight, you can use the email in the description to get a hold of us. And we will discuss a price and all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good night and we'll talk to you soon.